I am currently doing two series tutorials on a Linux distribution called Slitaz. Slitaz is a very lightweight uh, distribution of Linux that runs uh, when it's compressed on a live CD is compressed down to under 30 megabytes is their goal and they have pretty much kept that goal um, and uh, the reason I'm doing two series of tutorials is I'm doing one on the GUI interface the desktop interface and one on the text mode and this is the series on text mode so if you're afraid of the command line you may want to check out the GUI interface tutorials uh, Slitaz is very user friendly in both the GUI and the text mode interface. So let's get started. Go to slittaz.org. It's S L I T A Z.org. And when we get here, I'm going to choose English because that is my language. And I'm going to go to download. And we have some options here for stable cooking, which is their unstable or testing, and a floppy disk mode that will, uh, if your computer doesn't boot to a CD or USB, you can boot that floppy and direct it towards the CD or USB, so if your machine's really old. And uh, CDs to taste, these are different versions. Uh, basically, some have Firefox as a default web browser. Uh, some have less programs, so it can make it down to 15 megabytes, but still have a full desktop working. Some, uh, Slitaz by default, loads into RAM on your machine, so you can remove the CD. Uh, but some older machines may not have enough RAM to do that. It suggests in having at least 80 megabytes uh, in this low RAM version, which basically same thing as the standard, but it runs from the CD instead of loading to RAM. But we want today is Slitaz 3.0 base ISO. So we'll download that. I already have it downloaded. I'm going to start it up in a virtual machine here. Hit whatever key you need to choose the CD-ROM and then hit enter at this boot screen because we're just going to be using the defaults in these tutorials. Uh, it's decompressing the Linux kernel. Uh, once it decompresses it, it will start loading and it actually starts a timer and will tell us how fast it boots. It will ask us two questions that is counted in the timer. Uh, basically, what language, which the default is English, and we will hit enter. And then, so enter here for English. I'll hit my N key to go down to US. A, hit enter, and you'll see here it says boot time was nine seconds. That includes those two times you're at those menus. So if you're a long time at those menus, uh, your boot time will go up. On a machine I have sitting here next to me that uh, I believe the RAM is 128 megabytes, and uh, it's at least 10 years old. I don't know what the processor is on it. I can boot this CD in six seconds if I just quickly choose those options. So this boots very fast, and that's after un uncompresses and loads to RAM, so it's not just running, it's actually loading to uh, your RAM to run from there, so you can remove the CD. Uh, default username and password for root is root and root. And to install, we simply go slittaz, whoops, slittaz installer. Hit enter there, and it'll give you a guided uh, install screen. Uh, we've got install, upgrade, or cancel. I've never done upgrade, but we're just going to do install today. It's checking for your CD-ROM now. Uh, even though it loads to RAM and you can remove the CD, if you're going to install to the hard drive, you need to have the CD-ROM inside the CD-ROM drive because it will grab files off that while it's installing. Now it's asking where would you like to install it to. Uh, and let's have a look at what our partitions are. I'm going to hit tab, tab to go to list and hit enter. I've got three partitions here. Um, and really, two of them are the swap space. Uh, and um, hard disk A1 is the drive I want, but you know, make sure you know what drive you're installing to because this will format your partition here. Uh, so I'm going to hit OK, and I'm going to hit forward slash device, forward slash HDA1 and I will hit OK. It asks if I want to reformat it uh, and it will format it as an X, uh, EXT3 format. My next tutorial will be on how to manually format the drives, but we're just going to hit yes to continue there. Ask if you want a separate partition for your home directory. Uh, for these tutorials I'm not going to do that, but that's not a bad idea in many cases to have a separate partition for your home drive. I'll hit OK. Uh, host name, we can leave as Slitaz, but you can name it whatever you want. And I hope I'm saying that right, Slitaz. I'm assuming that's how you say it. I'm going to hit enter. It says, uh, do you want, you know, change the root password, default is root. Uh, for the tutorials, just to keep things simple, I'm leaving it as root. Uh, you can create a new user here. I'm going to hit 
delete a few times and I'll just create a user called metal and I'll hit delete a few times you can type in metal now uh, by default on the CD tux tux is the username and password so when you're in the live CD if you don't want to log in as root it's tux tux but since we're installing I'm going to hit OK here it gives you a little prompt here make sure all this is correct because it will be formatting that partition and you will lose any data that is on that partition I'll click OK shouldn't take very long uh, it is now uh, making the file system ext three on device hard drive a one that's your first dro hard drive uh, partition one um, and this will just take a moment and then it will start uh, decompressing the CD image and installing the files to that partition and there we go the partition will be kept it is mounting it it is cleaning it if necessary it is installing the kernel and now it is extracting the file system Ooh, we got some sort of error there hopefully uh, I didn't get a chance to read all that error <laughs> but uh, we'll see if it continues uh, now it wants to install grub to the uh, master boot record we'll just hit yes to that if you hit no, you have to manually install a uh, bootloader. Uh, Grub is great. I guess there's uh, other options out there that are lighter weight. Now at this point, we can hit exit and continue working in the live uh, environment or click reboot, which is uh, what I'm going to do. And hopefully here, uh, it's going to eject the CD. If there was physically one, we're working in a virtual box here, so there is no physical CD. But it's shutting down, getting ready to reboot. This time I'm going to choose to boot from my primary hard drive. Everything good so far. I'll hit OK there. If you didn't choose anything after a couple of seconds, it would default to slit test. Once again here, it's going to decompress the uh, Linux image, start booting, and here we go. English, USA, obviously pick for you boot time was seven seconds everything seemed to boot fine I, I wish I had a chance to read what that error said but uh, hopefully I I'd never seen that before so it may have just been a one-time little error but everything's been working fine I can now log in as metal metal and I don't suggest ever making your password the same as your username or something that simple and short but these are just for tutorials in a virtual box this system won't be around for long. So we're logged in. That's how you install Slitza in text mode. I uh, hope you enjoyed the tutorials and continue watching and visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this. Have a great day.